Alright, Shalom, we start first by giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Avakak Kodash, Bakata Yahweh, Bakata Yahushai, Bakata Yahweh, Bakata Yahushai, Bakata Yahweh, Bakata Yahushai, Kahalah Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai. Double honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well, and greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect. Shalom. Um, quick video before I run to the plantation. Um, last night, as you can see on the screen, there was a pride. Uh, 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 parade uh, here in Las Vegas. I don't know if it was from last night or just re airing last night, you know, but it was on television like like the New Year's Day parade, like, like the Thanksgiving Day parade, right? Just commonplace on regular television, Channel 12 here in Las Vegas. And I was like, how, what times are we truly in for this? to be the norm of what's going on in this society. We're supposed to be a Christian uh, a society. It's funny, Barack Obama clowned that in his presidency coming in and during his campaign when he was coming in in 07, 06. Um, Barack Obama says the, the, this country, uh, uh, how, did, how did he say it, contradicts the Bible, even though we're supposed to be a Christian nation. People aren't reading their Bibles. And it's true. Because he said, if we go back, a lot of the things that, uh, that we that we hold commonplace or are supposed to hold commonplace here in America, this this place isn't uh, upholding. I mean, the, it's not uh, agreed upon in the Bible. All right, so I got a bunch of scriptures, man. Not not, not too many, because like I said, I'm, on, I'm I have uh, limited time here. But but just to hit the point, man. So I'm gonna go to the book of. Uh, let me see, no, second address, second address chapter, uh, let me get to it, one second, bear with me, second address, I'm going to start up at, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, ch chapter 15, verse, um, I'm going to start verse 5. It says, Behold, saith the Lord Yahweh, which the name Yahweh is the, the true proper name of the Most High God, okay, who you ignorantly call God or who, who you know as God, okay, the Creator, all right? Yahweh Shai is his only begotten Son who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, all right? It says, uh, Behold, saith the Lord Yahweh, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, all bad things, okay? For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled okay this is this pride thing is, is is wickedness man you can't tell if that's men or women up there you can't tell who's who all right you cannot tell doing i'm gonna try to click over look this is what they do this is what they do floats and people cheering and music going and so on and so forth you know they're 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 in pride, okay? Atomic Roller Girls cele celebrate pride, and 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 uh, Mastercard and, and different Caesar's Palace and everybody was there, uh, all in in support of of this of this uh, gay pride LGBTQ pride award, okay? It says, uh, for wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more. As touching their wickedness, which I profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, uh, unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. And, and that's what this video is, among other brothers complaining con continually about about all the wickedness that goes on in this world. Okay? This place is wicked as hell, man. This place is wicked as hell. And there's a punishment for you wicked ass people. Why, why 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years ago, 100 years ago, this was not accepted when, when the Bibles were more uh, uh, instrumental in, 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 in the moral compass of society here in America. Now, it just runs rampant and it doesn't matter anymore. Everybody just super liberal about everything okay well the most high god is not going to allow us to continue on this way 
you know, and this is just a small something among all other things, because he he gave his commandment about this. In the book of Leviticus, let me get to it. Here it's not about right here. Leviticus chapter, what's it? Is it the 20th chapter that I want? Yeah, chapter 20, verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with the woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. So when he when he uh, brings the uh, the sword, famine, death, and destruction according to their wickedness, you think they're not going to get touched? They're just going to live on cloud nine and the, and the rainbows and all of that when they're perverting everything the Most High God is about? With all his pride, the Most High hates pride. That alone will he get you for. Let alone you're proud in the face of... Uh, in the face of the Most High God. Matter of fact, let me get this. Um, Ecclesiastes. Let me get there right quick. Bear with me. Let's see how fast I can get through, through these. Let's lock it. Lock it. One second. Oh, man. So, Ecclesiastes. Get right here. I want to get to the page. Ecclesiastes chapter chapter 8 verse 11 because sentence against an evil work is not executed therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil okay so your heart is fully set in you to, to do evil because you don't think there's a penalty for it well there is a penalty the swore famine death and destruction is coming for you okay uh, um, verse it's his second address Chapter 8, verse 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. This is a parade. They're walking up and down the streets of, of Sin City, Las Vegas. And this ain't the only place that they have these pride awards. They, they go right there in Tel Aviv calling it Pink City. They have a pride award over there, a pride parade over there. They have it in Long Beach, California that I know. They, San Francisco, you know they got one. New York City probably has one. Miami probably has them. Chicago. All these major cities here in America and certain places uh, within the world, not the Middle East though, but certain places in the world, they have these pride parades. And you think the Most High God's not going to visit this, this place for that? He's going to visit it. Man, all right? Let me go to this right quick. Second address. Um, chapter... Uh, 15 um, uh, 2nd Edward 15 and, and 15 yeah, 2nd Edward 16 so like the 16 and 17 woe is me woe is me who will deliver me in those days the beginning of sorrows and great mornings the beginning of famine and great death the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear the beginning of evils what shall I do when these evils shall come Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Even though there, there's certain situations, people getting burnt up at different pride parades at, at water parks, you know, burnt on fire, there's, there's, there's gay clubs getting shot up, there's all kinds of things going on. But these people on the earth are not changed from their wicked way. Look at how happy these people are out there. Look, look how comfortable they are dancing bears and, and whatever pandas or whatever face they got their flag out there, the rainbow flag, perverting what the most high created. You know, you, you think he's not gonna he's not gonna visit you upon that? You think God's a joke? You think he's playing? He's not worthy to be feared? Okay. We're gonna see what's gonna happen, man. How you people uh disrespect the most high god let me see uh matter of fact i'm gonna jump up to um um let me see i'm gonna go to that one but i want to go to this first um it's the seventh chapter or is it the eighth chapter um bear with me one second one second um That'd be the eighth chapter. 
yeah, let me get it. Uh, yep. Um, yes. Is that it there? Uh-huh. Yeah, hold on. Bear with me one. Here we go. Yes, in the ninth chapter. This is uh, Genesis chapter 9. Uh, let me get to the point. Uh, yeah, verse 11. Genesis 9, 11. I will establish my covenant with you. Neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by the waters of a flood. Neither shall there, there any more be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, this is the token of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I do set my bow in the cloud, the rainbow. He sets his rainbow in the cloud, okay? That's why when it's sunny after the rain or, 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 or coming into that together, when, when, when the sun is out but the rain is, is still kind of there, there's a rainbow that appears. Proving that this time when it rains, it's not gonna, it's not gonna um, destroy the whole earth like it did in the time of Noah, the first time it rained on the earth. He wouldn't do that ever again. And 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 after a rain, when the sun started to peek out through the clouds and shine through, he's not gonna do it. You know, he didn't do it that time either, showing that he's keeping his end of the bargain. All right, of the covenant, it says, um, verse thirteen again. So I do set my bow in the cloud. And it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth, that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. So there's sunshine and the cloud with the, with a little bit of moisture in the air that you can see this rainbow. But look at how they pervert, uh, pervert it. Look at what these people do to per, per, pervert it. They're sitting up there like it's the Thanksgiving Rose, the rose Parade, man. Looking like it's the Rose Parade out there. And God's not going to be upset about this? Perverting his creation, his covenant with the people? Look at this. Look at how these people are out there acting. Smiling and happy. Watch. Uh, I said, laugh now for you shall mourn and weep. That's what's going to happen to you people. You're going to mourn and weep when the, when the Heavenly Father shows up. When he sends his son to show up to the planet. When he, when he, when he sends his son with the angelic force. Stand together. Let's say... 30 standing together 30 years strong because it sent us against the evil work is it executed speedily all right now i'm gonna go to another account i'm gonna close out with that one um right before that i think it's the 19th chapter um um yep um let me start near the top of that uh Uh, let me see. Uh, let me start back a little bit. Yeah, because I gotta jump around a little bit. Um, this is um Genesis chapter nineteen, um, verse one. It says, "And there came two angels to Sodom, even at evening." Sodom is is is, is that that homosexual sex that sex act of uh of, of uh, penetrating an exit which is an anus okay which is anal sex okay okay which is, is a known act of uh, of of, uh, of homosexuals okay and because because in Sodom and Gomorrah and the surrounding cities they were uh doing all kinds of freakish sexual acts okay it says uh, and there came two angels to Sodom at evening, and Lot sat at the gate of Sodom. And Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself with his face toward the ground. And he said, Behold, now my lords, turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house, and tarry all night. Okay. And watch the feet, and he, okay, so it's basically, and he greeted them. Okay, and then the point that I want to make, bear with me, bear with me, Uh, yeah. And people came to go get those men. Um, uh, let me see. Let me get to the point. Okay, 13. It says, For we will destroy this. This is the angel speaking to, 
Matter of fact, verse 12. And the men said unto Lot, Has thou any here besides son-in-law and thy sons and thy daughters uh, and whatsoever thou hast in the city? Bring them out of this place, for we will destroy this place because the cry of them is waxing great before the face of the Lord Yahweh. And the Lord Yahweh has sent us to destroy it. Why? Because all this, this freakish sexual acts going on. Okay? People celebrating and doing all types of nasty sexual acts, not what the Most High put together. Bestiality and who knows what other types of freakism going on. Same shit that go on today, man. Same things that go on today. All right? It says, um, destroyed our, uh, for the Lord will destroy the city. And he seen, wait, wait, no, excuse me. Let me start. Verse 14. And Lot went out and spake to his sons-in-laws, which married his daughters, and said, up, get thee out of this place. The Lord Yahweh will destroy the city. But he seemed as one that mocked unto his son, sons-in-laws. Okay, so nobody wants to listen. Okay, um, let me get to the point. Um, yeah, let me, start, let me start up. Verse 23. Matter of fact, verse 22. Yeah, it says, Haste thee, escape thither, for I cannot do anything till thou be come thither. Therefore, the name of this of the city was called Zoar. Until you get up out of here into Zoar, I can't destroy this place, man. Hurry up and get up out. And it says, um, verse 23, The sun was risen upon the earth, and Lot entered into Zoar. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. That's what's going to happen. But he, instead of it just being fire and brimstone, the fire and brimstone is coming with, with, with World War III missiles, man. Thermonuclear missiles from World War III shot up from these other countries. Because they see your wickedness and they know it's wrong. They're tired of it. Because you're going around spreading your democracy and your gay acts. Africa always called out uh, uh, President Obama. Don't bring that. You can come as a brother in peace, but don't come over here with all that gay shit. We don't want to deal with that. Okay? Don't come spreading that over here. Okay? And the rest of the world is on, is on notice not, not to come and deal with uh, uh, America because they're going to spread that gay stuff over there unless they're in league with it. But either way, the Most High is not dealing with that. You see? He's going to put you to death, man. He gonna, and, and, and the way it's on TV, it was on TV. Like, like this is, like I'm telling you, the Rose Parade, man. Thanksgiving Day Parade. Like a regular old parade. There's probably a Halloween parade going on today. You know? It says, um... Pretty much it, but let me, 25, and he overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities that, which grew upon the ground. But his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt, which we all know that part. She, she, uh, looked back, not necessarily in a physical sense, but she looked back like, damn, she missed it in her heart. Okay. She was like, damn, I kind of like that for whatever reasons they didn't. It wasn't specific about it, but for whatever reasons, she looked back because she she would miss what was going on in this place. Okay, um, yeah, this is you know, I close out with this script. Second Peter chapter two, um, verse five. Matter of fact, verse five it says, "And spare not the old world, but save Noah the eighth person." A preacher of righteousness bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. The flood, what's the flood? A flood of fire and brimstone, okay? The, the, the martial law troops, that, that, that flood, okay? Bringing that in on the people. It says, um, and turn the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. So that... You didn't get the message with Solomon and Gomorrah because uh, sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. It said, um, and delivered just Lot. He was righteous just. It said, um, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked for that righteous man dwelling among them in seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. Okay, so when we see these things and when I turned it on there last night, I was flicking through the channels and saw that. I was like, oh my. It vexed my soul, man. It vexed my spirit. Okay? 
But these people are out there loving it. They're probably getting all kinds of ratings. It's going to probably become, a, 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 if it's not already, a, a common thing. So with that, I'm going to close out, man. Lord willing, you you out there are edify and, and let it be known, man. It was said here, man, if you didn't know that the Heavenly Father is going to destroy you people, man. He's going to kill you people, especially you Israelites, you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans that partake in all the wickedness of this place. You know in your spirit it's wrong. You've seen the videos and know it's wrong. But you still continue in your, in your wickedness. All right, so with that, I'm closing out. Giving all praise and glory to the Yahweh, Bashir, and Shai, Bashir, my Rakash, Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and others at Great Millstone. And greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect, man. Keep pushing, man. Don't, don't, don't worry about the vexation that comes with these people, man. They're going to get theirs. That is a shalom unto the elect.